Anderson here bringing y'all another video today had a phenomenal day out on Lake Lanier yesterday had some pretty crazy conditions had 15 to 20 mile an hour wind it was absolutely blowing out there and had those fish chewing caught a really big bag just under 22 pounds all spotted bass so really excited to bring all that to y'all in today's video and if you are interested in getting out on the water on a guide trip I'm booking for later October and into November gonna have some really awesome fishing coming up in the next few weeks. So definitely don't miss out on that. And if you're not able to get out on an actual guide trip with me, go ahead and check out my fish tips down below. It's a virtual guide platform where if you can't take a day off work and you still wanna be dialed on all the locations, patterns, techniques that we're doing out there day in and day out, gives you a really, really detailed report on what's going down. So definitely check that out if you can't make it out on an actual guide trip. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. That was a sweet bite, guys. That was awesome. That fish came up and grabbed it about three feet away from the trolling motor. Pretty good fish right there. A little bit better one right there on that fluke. Another nice two and a half, but we'll keep working our way out. Definitely these fish are in a really bitey mood with that overcast conditions and some of those clouds we got, but another nice one right there for sure. Absolutely T bone for that 20 gram OG right there. Nice one, nice three pounder. Sweet guys. Got that thing sideways. Awesome fish right there on the OG. Big old five pound spot right here on the OG.
absolute giant right here. Such a big one, guys. Oh, check that one out. That's four and a half, four and three quarter all day on that OG. That was a sweet bite. Oh my goodness. Stud right there. We'll go ahead and throw that one on the scale. Wow, beautiful spot. There it is, right there. 414, almost a five pounder. Absolute freak, right there, guys. Beautiful spot. Back in there. Alright guys, let's cut another three and a half right there on a fluke. Saw a pretty big school up there. Casted it out to them at about 150. Nice, nice fish right there. Throwing so that cast X12 braid right there, that's 12 pound. Getting those long casts out there to some of those bigger fish. Let's see if we can't catch a few more. Pick a nice one. Guys, we just got a big one on that fluke right here. Really big spot. That's four pounder. Give up. Come here, girl. There we go, guys. Nice four and a half pounder right there on that fluke. Awesome fish. Saw them up there schooling on the point and kind of made a cast past them and let that fluke get down. Definitely a stud right there. We'll go ahead and get this one on the scale and uh, see what this one weighs. Nice one. Right at four pounds. Definitely a sick, sick eat. We'll go ahead and let this one go. Beautiful spot. Good one. Saw that school over that brush pot right there. Made a long cast with that braid. Looks like another pretty good spot. Oh my goodness, guys, it's an absolute giant. Oh, that's a giant spot. That one's gonna put us well, well over 20. That's a huge spot.
There we go, guys. Another nice four and a half right there on that fluke. They're absolutely chewing in this hurricane. It's a giant, giant spot. Go ahead and get that one on the scale. That's a freak. It's got it right there. Man, that is a cool spot. We'll go ahead and see what she weighs on the Bubba. Yep, four pounds. Got some waves coming in. Four pounds, eight ounces. Four and a half pounder, awesome fish. Go ahead and let this one go. All right, guys, got one very next cast right here. Another pretty good one. Real nice one. Another almost four, uh, probably three and a half. Another big one right there, guys, on that fluke again. Yep, guys, that's a four pound even right there. Puts us at 21 for the day. Or some, there's a couple others that I didn't weigh that may have put us a little bit over 21, but absolute incredible bag. We're gonna keep making our way to the ramp and then we'll do a short recap. Guys, got another pretty good one on the fluke. Oh yeah, awesome spot. Here we go, guys. Another three and three quarter out there on that fluke. Awesome spot right there. That fish is so fat. Saw a school of them rolling down the bank through that fluke. Another big one. That one might be four. We'll go ahead and throw them on the scale and see. Three pounds and 14 ounces. So almost a, almost a four pounder right there. Definitely another awesome one for the day. Go ahead and let this one go. All right guys, to wrap things up, I wanna walk you through two of my setups that I used in today's video and some baits that are really working on Lanier that will continue to work for the entire month of October. First and foremost is my Fluke setup. You've heard me talk about this in previous videos. This is a G Loomis NRX Plus 852. Also like the 872, a little bit longer. Both are phenomenal uh, models of rods for fishing a Fluke. I have that spooled up with cast X12 braid. This is a braid I've had the opportunity to throw for the past couple months and it's really changed the way I fish Lanier and Herring Lakes and it allows me to hit those fish a lot further than when I was throwing other brands of braid. Super slick braid and this stuff has really changed the game allowing me to reach some of those schooling fish and make just overall longer casts to those fish. As much as people are fishing nowadays you need an advantage every time you go to the lake and being able to reach those fish 20, 30, 40 feet further, that cast X12 braid has been an absolute game changer for my fluke setup. From there, I run a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and then I have a four aught worm hook right there with a little bit of weight right there and just a fluke. So pretty basic on the setup, but definitely having that good spinning rod and that X12 braid has been an absolute game changer. If 
you're interested in picking up and trying some of that braid, I would highly recommend it. Have a code for y'all in the description to save you a little bit of money there. And secondly, a bait that I've been throwing a lot more recently is the Cast OG. Specifically, this is the 20 gram model right here. Awesome, awesome bait when you are in those windy conditions. You can't throw a lot of other lures straight into the wind and get those fish to come up on it. So that 20 gram OG has a non-mechanical action and really shines in some of those low light, cloudy, windy conditions and triggers a lot of really big bites like you saw that one I caught. That was almost five pounds on this thing right here. Super, super awesome bait. And I throw that on a 7.2 medium heavy x and I have that spooled up with 20 pound uh, shooter fluorocarbon. I also like to run the 50 pound cast braid as well to a leader. Both are phenomenal setups, but definitely give that 50 pound cast braid with that OG. Awesome, awesome setup for sure. But those are the two baits that did the damage um, yesterday and will continue to be really effective moving into the fall. There will be some other baits that we'll cover that get a little bit better mid-October into that November period. But for right now, those are two that will definitely stay on my deck. Of course, there's a lot of other staples that will, but definitely when you do get some of those kind of crazy fall conditions like we had this past week, those are two I would not go to the lake without. But like I said, if you want to save a little bit of money and try that braid or that OG, check out the description down below. There'll be a code for y'all. Other than that, we'll see y'all in the next video. And if you are interested in getting out on a trip, definitely hit me up on my website or shoot me a message wherever it doesn't matter. Appreciate that. And we'll see y'all in the next video.